Hey guys, it's Avangel. Happy Friday. And yeah, this should look familiar to anybody from the old school of flight sim. Yes, this is Chicago. That plane is irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Where are we? Oh, hello. Please slow down. Where are we? Oh, hi. <laughs> well, that's the city of Chicago over there. And I'm having to use the keyboard controls because apparently Microsoft hates it when I have a controller plugged in as well as my flight equipment. But we are at Z Design's Magus Field. The classic has made a return to FS2020. Sure, she's no longer here in real life, and as you can tell from the previous, it's largely in a mess of an abandoned island with some development to the south. Or the north, technically. But Z Designs have brought it back. This is their professional edition. It's available on Sim Market. There's a link in the description. And I want to take today just to have a look at this thing because this is a field I remember from my childhood. My first flight simulator was FS98. This was the default flight. I did 99% of my flying out of Magus Field. This tiny little middle of nowhere place I didn't even realize was a real place. Disappeared not long after that. And, well, in the 2000s, of course, but. Z Designs have recreated it in absolute beautiful detail. I mean, look at this. This is just one of the hangars. Gorgeous. It's just a hangar. I mean, I'm getting a little excited over largely nothing, but we have helipads when helicopters come to the sim. And I believe we have some interiors to some of these areas, which we can also visit. The whole marina here has been redone as well. To how it was back in the day. Of course, with Magus in the foreground, we've got all the boats there. But it's a simple little field overall. You know, some parking over on the lakeside. We've got the bay behind it and the marina. Just a small terminal, some parking. It's a GA airfield. It's nothing special, but this place holds something special in the heart of all flight simmers, especially those before, unfortunately, Magus was removed. Even our control tower is fully detailed. This is a faithful and beautiful recreation, as I can try and get a little closer to the screens there. Look at that. The detail on that is insane. So we have the distance of the runway is 3,958 feet. Uh, of course, it's uh, 3618 due north south runway. Some radar screens, obviously not updated or accurate, but they are static images, of course, as we'd expect. And a little hatch to escape downwards. As we've got outside, we've got, of course, the upper decks of this. You can get some beautiful screenshots from the sim in all these locations. And the thing I actually wanted to look at more was here. It's the terminal. Because this building is fully detailed. Absolutely fully detailed. Let's go and take a look inside, shall we? Look at this. This is just a terminal building. This is crazy. Z Designs put so much effort into this to make it a beautiful recreation of the original place here at Magus. And it wasn't a big crazy place, but like I said, it was special. I remember flying the Sopwith Camel, the Cessnas, the Learjets out of Magus. Flying between the buildings of Chicago. It was just what you did, you messed around. And I remember having my little trust two button joystick there. Helicopter Airways, there we go, the check-in terminal point. An original aerial photograph of Magus itself from above, and you can see the marina there exactly as it looks outside. Now, looking at that picture, I think it was taken from the sim, rather than it being an actual picture, but it's still nice. So this is our terminal building here. Looking absolutely gorgeous. So the parking area over there is just typical GA parking, nothing special. Of course, the whole marina here has been rebuilt, and you can see these boats are proper poly boats rather than being extruded 3D items that were just simply pulled from the map. So for once, boats in a harbour that don't look like they were made out of uh, Play-Doh, which is kind of nice. Largely very similar designs, of course, but I mean, we don't need a ton of variety. You're largely going to see them from above, so it works just fine. Of course, with the Drzyzyski Designs Chicago Landmarks pack in the background, all of this becomes just so much sexier. The whole place looks beautiful. And it really gives us a sense of a true, real Chicago. Transported a little back in time, though, I'd, I'd say. Just because it needs to be. 
And I think moving the scenery layering has fixed my issue around Soldier Field where it dipped into a large mine shaft of terrain depression. As you can see there, Soldier Field looking perfectly as it should be now. But the scenery also took care of the bottom end of the island here with the observatory there. The solar panels, parking lots, everything as it should have been. The road into Magus, of course, down this side. Everything as it once was. In fact, I think those are actually fishing boats. That is a fishing boat. Cool. So there aren't just tiny little boats. There is some photo scenery ones in there, of course, but what is this? Oh, it's a nice little boat there. Oh, I quite like that. Now, what's it like to fly out of? That's the real question. Let's take our camera all the way back to the plane. And it's another reason why I bought this little thing, the Aerolite 103. It's perfect for this. That was a fuel truck. The lawnmower is active. Let's take her out for a little run. Let's orbit around Magus here and enjoy this place. Looking good. Nothing I can see. <laughs> Does sound like a two-stroke lawnmower, doesn't it? Yeah, the sounds are something I might change, although I've never heard a real one of these, so it could be accurate. Let's get ourselves out on runway heading, and we'll depart in no time at all. For a little aerial tour here of Magus. And an aircraft that's really suited for airport tours and scenery tours. See, it really brings the ambiance. I'm getting no performance impact here at Magus compared to the default scenery in the area. So, considering I have two sceneries here of Chicago and Magus, it's running really nicely. Not that this is a complex aircraft, but still. From above, in a natural aircraft, the airport looks beautiful. Just everything you'd want in a small scenery. And it just brings so much familiarity back in the simulator for someone like me who really enjoyed this place when they were a child. It brought everything to me as I, a couple of years ago, got a boxed set of FS-98 given to me by a friend. The original copy I'd got was simply on a sleeve that came with a pile of other games and demos when we bought our first PC back in the 90s. So this was when I was a kid then, of course. But that sim brought me so much joy and getting a copy of it years, years later an original box set with all the you know the charts that came with it, including of Magus, yes, because FS98 came with a bunch of charts, one included Magus, um, and the big manual and the little jewel case with the actual CDs in it. Having Magus back feels so special. It's 13 euros, so it's pittance for a scenery, frankly, and it just gives you so much nostalgia. Now, for a newer generation of flight simmers, I think it's important to bring Magus back. I know it's not real, it shouldn't be there now. It should be just a partially redeveloped bit of land. But to me, Magus is something important. It's part of flight sims history as a genre and as a series of games. It's important to remember where we came from because where we came from dictates where we're going. And sure, it's just one little airport, but it's one little airport that started so many people's hobbies in the sim. To me, that's hugely important. There's Soldier Field down below us. Right there next to Magus Field. Everything just feels right about this whole area now. Absolutely right. Chicago down below us, looking gorgeous and full of gun crime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. There is something right about looking out of my window or looking out of the side of the aircraft and seeing that. Because to me, that says Chicago. It says Magus. It says this is the place that I started out flying. And that visage, that runway, out on that little spit of land off the coast of this big, windy city. To me, that was the world I, I simmed in. To me, it was what got me into this. It was what made me go and learn to fly. It's what made me continue flying in flight sim for 20 years, nearly. It wasn't continuous, of course, until about 2011. But it made a huge difference for me. Magus is 
beautiful. It gels perfectly with the Brzezinski Designs Chicago. And it really brings a feeling that I think this place missed. It looked wrong. This is my pretend world. And if I want to bring Magus back to life, I will. I will be that politician that brings Magus back in my virtual world. Because, to me, this place stands the test of time. It means more than just another airport. Sure, I can't do international flights or huge, ridiculous cross-country journeys from it. But to me, Magus is more than that. And... See, designs did a phenomenal job. It's simple, it's effective. And I sound like a wax lyrical. I speak English, I promise. I sound like I'm waxing lyrical about it, but I mean it. To me, this is something that's special. And it was done justice. So for 13 euros, and there is a link in the description, of course. Totally worth it, honestly. It's got flyability, it's got hangers there for nice screenshots beautiful city behind it you pair it with the uh, cityscape you can get from either Orbex or the Flight Sim uh, Marketplace or Sim Market and it is a phenomenal offering that really brings a whole area to life just imagine flying through this area in FS98 and compare that to what we can see now with the airfield and the city it's no contest I think it's a wonderful thing and as I try and taxi towards some sort of area for parking. In fact, you know what? We'll go and park up ahead in that northern... Or would it be west... Eastern parking place? Just run fast taxi before that plane behind us catches up on the runway. Should be just over here. I thoroughly recommend this. Now, I realise that the last video last week was Monday and this one's coming Friday. So it's been almost two weeks gap between the two. I apologise. Things have been insanely hectic for me. I'm hoping to rate more regularise the schedule for videos. But I just wanted to take the time to make this because after people mentioned that this existed and when I did the Chicago Landmarks video, I thought it was important. That's a Metroliner. Cool. Hmm. Thank you for watching, folks. And hopefully you enjoy the beautiful old Magus as much as I did. As we are somehow miles off the coast of Chicago, looking down on... The glory that was Magus brought back to life. Oh, it hits me right in the feels. Thanks for watching. Bye.